And I, I want you to take note of the two songs that we sang. Because many times, God will speak to us through songs. And I want you to always take note of the vehicle through which God speaks to you. One of those vehicles is anointed songs. Is that okay? Anointed what? Anointed song. God sing, God minister to us, God speak to us through anointed song. So you must always develop yourself to tune your ears in the spirit to the song that the Holy Spirit is singing in the spirit. Is that okay? Did you get what I'm saying now? You must always develop yourself to tune your ear to the song that the Holy Spirit is singing in the spirit. I want to pray for you today that you will have a sensitivity in the spirit to know the song that the Holy Spirit is singing in the spirit. And whenever you can connect to the song that the Holy Spirit is singing in the spirit, you will hear what God is saying to you. It's not every time that God will speak to you through the Bible. Even though that is the most important, most valid way of receiving divine message. But many times too, God speaks to us through song. So the first song that we sang is talking about the steadfast love of the Lord. Never cease. It's not just an ordinary love. It is a love that is steadfast. Somebody says steadfast love. Do you know the meaning of that? Wow. Steadfast. That is the love that does not change. That is the love that is not affected by what you do or what you do not do. Did you get what I'm saying now? And the, Bible, and the song says, the steadfast love of the Lord never cease. And is what? His masses never come to an end. How many of you know that his mercy is rooted in his love? You agree with me that the love of the Father is the product of his mercy? Since his love never ceases and is a steadfast love, then the mercy are new every morning. They never come to an end. And the song says they are new every morning. They are new every morning. No wonder his faithfulness is great. What a God. Only God can love steadfastly. I don't know if you know that. Only God can love steadfastly. The steadfast love of the Lord. And then the second song say, he loves me and I cannot say why. No wonder it is a steadfast love. Because I can't say why. Is that okay? You can always know why people love you. Yes or no? Most times they will tell you why they love you. So the meaning is that a love that has why is a conditional love. Because once that condition is no longer there, the love will disappear. Everybody loves you because of certain things. And as long as you keep doing those things, you will keep winning their love. But once you stop doing the things that make them to love you, the implication is that they are not going to love you again. But God loves you without any condition. Did you hear that? God loves you without any condition. So, 
the question is not about who does not love you. The question today is about the God that loves you. Unconditionally. Not because of what you have done. Not because of what you have not done. He just loved you steadfastly. Unconditionally. What a so don't let the devil destroy your mood because somebody didn't love you. I think it is enough for you to know that God loves you unconditionally. I've had to minister to people that says, well, nobody loves me. No, let me put it the way that the person put it. He says, he says uh, nobody likes me. Nobody likes me. I said, that's good, but there is a God that loves you. Can you compare the love of God with the likeness of men? Praise God. <laughs> Is there anyone here tonight that that has always been your experience? Nobody likes you. I am here to tell you tonight that God does more than likes you. God loves you. Is that okay? He loves you. He wants to help you. He wants to bless you. He wants to save you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to rescue you. He wants to give you life. He, he loves you unconditionally. And the song says, On Calvary's tree is suffer for me. You know, it's a love that can suffer for another person. Most love don't like to suffer. When things are good, we love you. We love you. <laughs> Praise God. Everybody will be opening their teeth to you. But when life changes, when things turn around, you will know who truly loves you. But I, I can tell you with confidence that God loves you. Tonight, we are worshiping the God who loves me. I want you to make it very personal. And I pray that you will have a revelation of his love. His love not just for the world, but his love for you personally. You will have a revelation of the love of God. For you personally. Do you, do, do you understand what I'm saying? Now? That is the love of God for the world. But I'm talking about the love of God for you personally. May you have that revelation Amen. of God's personal love for you in the name of Jesus. So there are three things we are worshiping God for tonight. Worship God, number one, as the God who loves you from eternity. The God who loves you from eternity. Isn't that wonderful? Even when you have not taken shape, God loves you. When you don't have a figure, when you don't have a picture, when you don't have a face, when you don't even know, maybe nobody knows, maybe you are going to be a male or a female. God loves you. So, we worship the God who loves you from eternity. Take note, I'm not saying the God who loves us. I'm saying the God who loves me. The God who loves you. So, it's a personal thing tonight. Number two, you will worship God as the God who loves you unconditionally. Unconditionally. Many times, it's not, it's not that we are good, but God still loves us. Many times, we fail God. Yes or no? We fail him. <laughs> we fail him many times. But he still loves us. Did you get that? Number three. You will worship God as the God who loves you at all times. The God who loves you at all times. So those are the three things we are worshiping God for tonight. I want you to allow him to embrace you with that love. I want you to go before him and worship him. And give him all the glory. You don't have to do many things 
for the love of this father. I want you to give him all the glory. Lord, I worship you tonight because you love me from eternity. He loves you from eternity. He loves you unconditionally. He loves you at all time. Beloved, let's be grateful personally. It's not always like that with many gods. But this is the king of glory. The God of love. The one that loves you from eternity. Oh, sing a new song to his name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Worship him like never before. Give him praise. Give him glory. What a God we serve. What a God I serve. Lord, I worship you for your love. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. I give you all the adoration. The God who loves me from eternity. When I have no shape, when I have no figure, when I have no picture, you chose to love me. You love me. Oh, blessed be your holy name. Blessed, blessed, blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name, Jehovah. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you adoration. What a God you are. With all my imperfections, with all my failures, with all my inadequacy, with all my mistakes and errors, with all my fallibility, yet you love me, from, even from eternity. When I have not even showed up, when I have not even tasted time, yet you love me. Lord, I worship you. I am grateful. I give you all the glory. I feel your love more than the hatred of men. I feel your love more than the disdain of men. I feel your love more than the mockery of men. You are the God who loves me. Lord, I worship you tonight. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the adoration. The God who loves me unconditionally. Not because of what I have done. Not because of what I have failed to do. You just love me without any condition. Lord, I am grateful. Lord, be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. Be thou glorified. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed Redeemer. Gracious Father. For your unconditional love. Only a God of your status can love me unconditionally. Lord, I acknowledge this. I recognize this. And I give you all the glory for it. I am not taking it for granted. You are wonderful. I worship you, my Father. The God who loves me at all times. At my down times. At my up times, in my weaknesses, in my strength, you love me at all times. Oh, Lord God of heaven, Jehovah is your holy name. Be thou exalted, Lord. Be thou glorified. Beloved, let's worship him. Let's worship him. Let's give him praise. Acknowledge the love of God. Acknowledge the love of God. The unconditional love of God. The eternal love of God for you. The timeless love of God for you. Acknowledge it. Acknowledge it. Acknowledge it. Recognize it. That is worship. Worship is acknowledging and recognizing the love of God that is timeless, that is eternal, that is unconditional. Lord, I give you all the glory. Nobody else can love me like you do. Nobody else can love me like you do. You know me at my worst, yet you love me the best. You love me the most. Blessed Redeemer. Thank you, Jesus. You are wonderful. You are gracious. Be thou exalted, O Lord my God. Blessed, 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 blessed be your holy name, Jesus. Mandre muskelia brumaliste de mayada. Embromaza zebaliste lindre muskente te posulia de masalaba. Lord, I worship you. I am grateful. 
I am grateful. Forever grateful. Thank you, Lord, for your love. I worship you for your love. Your unconditional love. Your eternal love. Your timeless love. The steadfast love of the Lord. It never changes. It never changes. Mastulia rebali saliba demose. Ezede yede demozado yede. Mandre molusten de gete posse libro masai. Enre mo salabande yanderia. Yembro mosunde yanderia. Bruma salaba demo de 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 moske libro mososo do yede. Man, it's not because I can pray. It's not because I can read the Bible. That's not why you love me. You love me without any condition. You love me even when I fail. You love me even in my weakness. You love me even in my frailty. Jehovah El Shaddai, I am grateful. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. Jembru muskelia, zeba antrostelia dremus dei. E rabala sasa dayada. Rambala do gedebo soli andre. Endre bo sende e dremus toli ambruma sasa dayada. E rado zadoli andre muskede pruma sasa doye. Let your heart worship him tonight. Let your heart worship him tonight. Le brumus kete ye de ma de mustondo yenderia brumus sole andrama. Rebala do musuli andrema la sada bayanda liandrema la sazuza zuza ye de marando stendeliam. Mandre musto limbro molusando ye de bosque te musto limbro musconde ye de rabur rosalibro mandrema la stelianga de bashando. In Jesus' name we worship. Tonight, there are three basic prayer points on my spirit. One from one was a, a spillover of yesterday's move. And then there are two for today. But we're going to take the three together. Let's open our Bible to First Peter chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 8. <clears throat> Before I read, let the love of God be your defense. Is that okay? Have it at the back of your mind. Did you hear me? Don't ever let the stress of life break down that defense in your heart. Because God will always love you. Love you more than you can ever explain. Love you more than you can ever imagine. Is that okay? Always have it. face life with the with, with the mindset of the love of God. When you are faced with disappointment, with with problems, challenges, always remember that God loves me. Did you get what I'm saying now? That should be your confidence. I don't. I don't worry about who loves me and who does not. My concern is to always be a, an object of God's love. Once I'm sure that God loves me, I'm good to go. Is that okay? I want somebody to hold it and never forget it. God will never change his love. So remember, his love can never what? Can never fail. The devil would always lie to you that you are alone. You are not alone. The devil will want to make your head swell for nothing that nobody, no, nobody cares for you. It's a lie. God cares for you. And God is more than nobody. Did you hear what I'm saying now? Praise God. It's only that many of us are not looking towards the love of God. We are looking towards the love of men. That's why you feel that nobody loves you. God is more than somebody. Yes or no? So, that's that. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a what? Running lion, walketh about, 
seeking whom he may devour. Now, the first prayer we're praying from that scripture is that I will not be a meat for the devil. In Jesus' name. Very, very simple prayer. Apply to yourself, apply to your children, apply to your husband, apply to your wife, apply to your family. I will not be a meat for the devil. I told you I like to watch this animal world, especially the world of lions. And, and uh, I watched one one day. A very, is it a herd of buffalo or what do we call it? Huh? Is it a herd of buffalo? Is it a herd or whatever? I don't know. Praise God. There are many. And they are moving from one place to the other. And everyone was running. Did you hear that? Everyone was running. And then this lion was just watching. Was just watching. Was just watching. You know, he was confused because there are so many buffaloes. Many, many. They keep coming. They, and they were running. running. So he was just watching. He was just At a point, he just zero on one. And then just jump on that one. And catch it. And then my mind was asking me, why should it be that one? Did you hear me now? That one is not the first one that moves. It's not the last one that moves. But why should it be that one? The lion has watched them pass. Watched them pass. He was confused. Which one would I take? Oh, which one would I take? Oh, which one? At a point, he made up his mind. And he just kicked, jumped on one. And that's what all he needed for a meal. He didn't need more than that. Just one. Do you know what? The others didn't wait. Everybody was running. And then he pulled that one aside. Pull it aside. And then you know how lions, while they kill, they suffocate their prey. And then he, he, he put his mouth on his neck until he couldn't breathe again. And then he now pull him into the bush and now start to devour. That's how the devil watch. The devil will stand somewhere. The Bible says be sober. Did you get that? Be vigilant. For your adversary, the devil, is what? Roaring like a lion. What is he doing? Looking for who to devour. That's the assignment of the devil day and night. People are passing in the world. People are moving up and down. People, the devil is just waiting. Just trying to zero on somebody to pounce on. And you know what? He has been doing that. But beloved, you will not be a meat for the devil. I want you to rise up and pray. I want you to pray like never before. These are prayers that are very key to your survival and fulfillment on the earth. The devil is walking evil walks. The devil is setting traps and is looking for who to devour. But in the name of Jesus, I will not be a meat for the devil. Did you hear that? My wife will not be a meat for the devil. My children will not be a meat for the devil. My family will not be a meat for the devil. Are you ready to pray? Open your mouth and begin to pray. I will not be a meat for the devil. Masote yede. In the name of Jesus, I will not be a meat for the devil. In the name of Jesus, no matter how strategic the devil is, I won't be a meat for him. I will not be a meat for the devil. My wife will not be a meat for the devil. My children will not be a meat for the devil. My members will not be a meat for the devil. My family will not be a meat for the devil. My in-laws will not be a meat for the devil. Open your mouth and pray, beloved. The devil is looking for who to devour. The devil is looking for who to finish. That's what the Bible says. But I will not be a meat. In the name of Jesus, my part and that of the destroyer shall never cross. My part and that of the destroyer shall never cross. 
my path and that of the angel of death will never cross in the name of Jesus. Oh, beloved, pray, 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 pray. Either in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, or in the night, I will not be a meat for the devil. In the name of Jesus, my path and that of the destroyer will never cross. The angel of death will not meet me. I will not meet the angel of death. Yes, Lord, I will not be a meat. No matter how the devil hunt. No matter how the devil hunt. No matter how much he looks for who to devour. I will not be a meat. I will not be a food for the devil. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that he will be with me and I will not fear any evil. In the name of Jesus, I will not meet with any evil. My path will not cross with any evil. I will always miss every angel of death. I will not be a meat for the devil. It won't get me, it won't reach me. In the name of Jesus, at any time, I will not be a meat for any devil. It will not be a meat for the devil. Master de yede. Jendre muske limbruma listende. Embru muske libruma landru musondo ye. In Jesus name we pray. That is the second prayer which is much much important than even the first prayer. This second prayer is the reason why the first prayer will be a reality. On Saturday, somebody was talking to me about a man that that man said, the man he's talking about is an occultic man. He said he's an occultic man. He was so sure of what he was saying. He said there was a time that that man was in an hotel in the night, maybe around 2 a.m. He was having a meeting with some people in an hotel. And the hired assassin that was sent from Lagos were coming to, they already know where the hotel, and they already know that he was having a meeting as at that time of the night. And uh, those people came from Lagos, and they drove straight to that hotel. He said, in the middle of the meeting, for no reason whatsoever, the man that they were coming to assassinate, just stood up and said, brothers and sisters, this meeting we have to end. This meeting we have to end. He gave no reason for the abrupt end of the meeting. And he just, he just, he just dashed out. And then took his vehicle in the middle of the night and drove off. He said, just about two minutes after he zoomed off the gate, the people that were to kill him came searching looking hungry for blood. They look everywhere. They couldn't, they couldn't get him. And he said, that man, he said, it's an ogbolobo. And I was, as I was going home, the Holy Spirit was telling me, if an ogbolobo occultic can, the devil can do that for an occultic man, I will do more than that for you. Did you hear what I say now? That's what the Holy Spirit said. I will do more than that for you. Because Allah will go do it. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? And that's the reason for the second prayer we're going to pray. But there is an anointing that is coming upon you. I want you to write this down. I connect my life to the anointing for soberness and vigilance. <clears throat> it is an anointing. The anointing for soberness, the anointing for vigilance, the anointing for sensitivity. You are going to carry it away as a donation of heaven. As a donation of heaven. Life is becoming more safe in our day. 
Life is becoming more risky in our day. Securities can no longer be guaranteed. Beloved, as a child of God, you need this anointing. The anointing for soberness. The anointing for vigilance. The anointing for sensitivity. I connect my life to it as from today. In the name of Jesus. That's the prayer. Release your faith. The anointing will flow. You, because if you, that as from today, if you are not supposed to be in a, if evil is coming to happen in a place, you will not, you will be restless. You, you and may you have the sensitivity to interpret correctly. In the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost will contact your spirit from now on. Such that if there is an evil coming to a place where you are seated, you will be restless. And may you have the sensitivity to interpret correctly. To know why you are restless. So that you can move away. Before I want you, I want you back. I want to come here and you can't tell me being shy. I beg, buddy. The woman is away. Oh, too much. We pray. Oh, Lord, you can't tell. If you need shell, no jewel. What is Lotan? Go to shell. I be come back on the edge of the bed at all. I be come back on the Lord. Ra 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 ra. How many of you want that kind of grace tonight? It's an anointing is going to go with you from now on. That's the assurance that you are secured. That is the assurance that you will not be a meat for the devil. Did you hear me now? That the, I connect my life to the anointing for soberness. Anointing for vigilance. Anointing for sensitivity. Let it rest upon you. Let's rise up on our feet. Are you ready? I want you to pray it like never before. I want you to pray it like never before. I want to do a keke keniki jakala is oku. Shebo. Eh eh. Iru I want to do a be le yi. Niki ja. Ode wa important. Koto di pen kan shele. We pray ahead. That's what called preemptive prayer. You you preempt the devil. Are you hearing me now? You preempt him. You preempt him. Right? So that whatever is thinking you have, you have, you have destroyed his thought and his plan with your prayer. Lift up your hands to Jesus. That grace will come upon you tonight. Amen. Amen. If I'm running your foot, I can't say that. Anointing for soberness. Anointing for vigilance. Eh? That any move, you will interpret it correctly. Any move, you will get it. You will interpret correctly. Any, anything that moves around, you will know. And you will know the next thing to do. Anointing for soberness. Anointing for vigilance. Oh, wow. Anointing for sensitivity, you know. That, that was a particular year I was invigilating a GCE exam. Alright, I've told you here and I was very strict. I didn't allow anybody to cheat. And God, God, God I have an ego eye that where you want to, it is that time that my eyes will go there. But to consume to talk about it, to talk it, to talk about it, to talk about it, to talk And I will see the person. So yeah, look it out. Every move they made, I was getting them. And the right person that decided to do something, I said, stand up. Move away from that place and all that. So I destabilized them. I sent some people had arranged themselves that they are going to sit together. In fact, they had seated like obedient children. When students became suddenly obedient, they are up to something. Experienced teacher, we understand. So they are seated like obedient everybody before I came. Everywhere was quiet. They had organized themselves. When I came, I scattered them. I say, You stand up on that place, go to that place. You can see it on their face. What if my one in Are you hearing me now? And as the exam was going on, 
I was praying in the spirit. Praying in the spirit. Praying in the spirit. Do you know when you are praying in the spirit and looking at people's face, you will see what they are thinking. They are looking at me like, when we finish this today. You know, they are not students. They are external GCE people. We will beat this man today. Beloved, I can hear their thoughts. I can hear their thoughts. Their face looked good, but their thought was terrible. And I was asked, Holy Spirit, what will I do? The Holy Spirit said, when it is 20 minutes to the exam, disappear. I said, what? He said, yes. He said, don't you remember? Jesus had to disappear. <laughs> Otherwise, they would have killed him before his time. So, I, I, watch, I kept watching my, my time. So, when it is 30 minutes to the end of the exam, I just handed over to somebody. I just pretend as if I want to go and ease myself. I left the school completely. I, came, I went to the church at Ayedo. I met Baba. We were just gisting. I said, ah, hey, Lord, you know, I never went just, just, we just had for about two hours, three hours. <laughs> After three hours, I was coming back. And, I, and one of my friends said, hey, where have you been? Ha, ah, thank God, though. Those guys, they were looking for you. <laughs> I said, Nibo. <laughs> Nibo. <laughs> Nibo. Ah, that grace is coming upon you in a multiplied version. So, Jabbiquet, in the name of Jesus. Rise up and connect your life to that grace. Say after me as from today. I connect my life. To the anointing for soberness. Of vigilance. And sensitivity. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I connect my life. To the anointing for soberness. Sensitivity, vigilance. In the name of Jesus, as from today, I connect my life to the anointing for soberness, for vigilance and sensitivity. For soberness, for vigilance and sensitivity. I receive that anointing today in greater dimension, in higher measure, in higher measure as I move on in this new year. As I move on in this year, a greater dimension of the anointing for sensitivity, the anointing for soberness, the anointing for vigilance in the name of Jesus. Masete yede, embrumo sonde yede mali, erado sele barada malandro moskente yede, jenru moskeli mbro malandro moluste te mosede yede, andro moskeli bro malandro masasa dae. Andre Mosquete ye de mo de mo zodo ye de. Andre Mosquete ye de mo de mo de ye de. Andre Mosquete ye de mo de mo de ye de. The anointing for soberness. The anointing for sensitivity. The anointing for vigilance. I receive it. Connect my life to it from now on. I connect. Danger is around. I will, I will pick it. When danger is around, I will pick it. I'll pick it, I'll pick it, I'll pick it, I'll pick it. I'll pick it. I'll pick it in the name of Jesus. Ah, that anointing of sensitivity. I connect my life to it. I connect my life to it. I connect my life to it. I receive it tonight. I receive it as I move on. No evil befalls me. No sickness come near my dwelling place. My journey, my movement up and down is covered by that anointing. Anointing for sensitivity. I will hear the thoughts of men. I will pick their, their intention. I will pick their mind. I will pick their motive. I will pick their malicious plans. I will not be in the dark. In the name of Jesus. 
whatever the devil is planning, I'll pick it. I will perceive it in the spirit. Functional spiritual perception. I receive it tonight. Functional spiritual perception. That what men are, are not saying with their mouth, what they are thinking in their heart against me, by the Holy Ghost, I will pick them. I will pick them. I will get it. I will know it. It will be revealed to me. Ete kete ye de bado mozai. Jembruste libro malandre mote kete poso limbra. Riba. Prophetic dreams. Prophetic dreams. Connect to it. Connect to it. Prophetic dreams. Prophetic dreams. Prophetic dreams. Prophetic dreams. Oh, in this last day, safety is of the Lord. Safety is of the Lord. Safety is of the Lord. Prophetic dreams. In Jesus' name, we pray. Many times, I've had mommy. She's very passionate, especially about ladies. And mommy will keep shouting and talking and said, Ladies should be very sensitive. Especially when you are going to a place you have never gone before. And you have to sleep over. Mommy will say, you don't sleep with all your life. I hope you understand what I'm saying now. That wakare but she gets me. I have seen a lady that was raped like that. Because they went for excursion and they had to lodge in a particular place. And she slept as if she was in her house. And then one of the boys that they went for a session together raped her. Are you hearing me now? Kidnappers are in town. They don't put it on their forehead. But when they come around, you will know them. Yeah. Nothing will be able to hide itself from you again. Tobatin lossip zone to your safe and my breast it beat no coin. Wa mo shani. Latin ilo emi mama fa esen. You will understand the signal of the Holy Spirit. Oh, that's a precious treasure. If you can understand the signal of the Holy Spirit. Most of the trouble we get into are avoidable troubles. Are avoidable troubles. There was a man, he is a man that used to work on construction site. But he's a Christian. A Christian. And he's, he's sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And that night he slept, he had a dream. He had a revelation that he was to climb something. Probably a crane, whatever, to go and fix something on the top. And he told his, uh, he told his uh, oh God that uh, he, he, he can't climb it, that he was weak. And then one other person said, oh God, I will climb. Forget about it, I will climb. And that one climbed. And something that looks like a hook that they are using to carry very big crane, that thing was disconnected from where it was hung. And that thing was coming like that. And just hook him like fish. Hook him through his neck like fish. And he died instantly. And he woke up. That was a prophetic dream. You get what I'm saying now? And then he prayed. He went to his office the next day. And they went to site. And they had been working. Around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. His supervisor came and said, Mr. So-and-so, go and pick that thing up. <laughs> and he said, he, he, he said he, had already, he was already on the ladder. When he, he remembered the dream. Ah, he said he pulled back and said, ah, Oga, I, I, I'm, I'm not really feeling okay. I don't think I... And then one, one of the fellow colleagues said, go move away. And then, and then he climbed. And then he climbed. He was on top. When the thing got loose and exactly like he saw it in the dream. And he caught him like fish. Piercing through his throat and hanging his neck. And kill him instantly. 
What delivered that young man? Prophetic dreams. The Holy Spirit will come in many ways. That's why you should... That's what, let me tell you, most of the time when I ask you to befriend the Holy Spirit, it's not for the sake of the Holy Spirit, it's for your sake. It's for your sake. It's for your sake. He knows what will happen ahead. As from today, you will not misinterpret the signal of the Holy Spirit. If you are going to be safe in these last days, you must know the Holy Spirit. You must know the Holy Spirit. You must be sensitive. Let the anointing for sensitivity rest upon everyone. Yeah. On ground, online, anywhere that you, anybody that believes God, come across this prayer. Let the anointing for sensitivity, for soberness, for vigilance rest upon everyone. Yeah. You will go home tonight with that anointing. If you have had it before, it will be in increasing measure. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Nta nso eju oro ifura lo ki se ifura. O tu lagbara ju ifura lo. Se ma won yo ba ni ifura lo ogun agba. Abi be ko. Good, but eleyi is o is is o o is more than ifura. This is spiritual perception. You we know in your spirit. From now on, that is a knowing that you will know in your spirit. You will know in your spirit. You will know. I remember when my mom, myself, and mommy, I mean, saw herself anew. That is a prayer we used to pray. That I, 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 I pray that I will know that I 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 know. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? And I pray the same prayer for you today. You will know that you know that you know that you know that you know. Nothing will be hidden from your eye in the spirit in the name of Jesus. You will not take divine caution for granted. You will not take the language of the Holy Spirit will be clear to you. You will interpret it correctly. There are times that the Holy Spirit will say, leave that place now, leave that place now, leave that place now. The earth will be more. I don't know if you have ever experienced it. And you better leave immediately. You better leave immediately. If you can obey the Holy Spirit and be sensitive enough, you'll be free from many troubles. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Praise God. There was a particular, there was a particular time I was, in, I was in the office. That time we had not blocked this other side. And it, different people different people still pass you remember that time and i was just by the window there i was just by the window there i was looking and one woman was coming one woman was coming and the holy spirit said take away your eyes take away your eyes take away your eyes <laughs> i was asking the holy spirit, she's not unusually dressed she's not unusually dressed she could wash her toshi but the holy spirit can't say take away your eyes take away, take away, take away. and i took away my eyes the moment I took over my eyes, the woman bent down. She wanted to use it. <laughs> and then the Holy Spirit did not yet look, look at her now. Look, look. Come back to your normal position. And I saw that the woman had used So it was the way the woman bent down that the Holy Spirit didn't want me to see. Did you hear that? Ah, the Holy Spirit care for us more than we can ever think. Maybe the Holy Spirit knows that that would be a very bad picture for my memory. Because most of the picture you bring, you, you, you take into your memory during the day, it is when you are alone that that picture will begin to play back. It will play back. And such picture, if it is negative, can wreak havoc to your life. So the Holy Spirit didn't want me to see that picture. So he kept on, take away, take away, take away. Ah, I said, ah. but she's okay. She's not the, the Holy Spirit, take away, take away. And I, and I turn like this. And then the Holy Spirit said, move back. And I move back. And the, the woman had already urinated. And I said, wow. As from today, the Holy Spirit will be your friend. The Holy Spirit will be your friend. Safety is of the Lord, though. Be 
that grace is flowing now. Want to buy my dano till you need to be to my giddy and win your dano to my gap and win your dano to my kuda no sin way. You get what I'm saying now? Huh? What can they be? Oh, can they? Oh, new war. What can they like? Motto in praise God. That's the anointing for sensitivity, the anointing for soberness, the anointing for soberness, the anointing for vigilance. Do you know what they mean by vigilance? Eh? To be vigilant. Are you hearing me now? Vigilant. To be vigilant. That grace is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus. I want you to say after me, you spirit of carelessness, you spirit of blindness, you spirit of foolishness, I break your yoke and I cast you out of my life. Those three spirits are terrible spirits. You know, we are still working on the first prayer. If you remember, I will not be a meat for the devil. You get that? The second prayer, the anointing for vigilance, soberness, sensitivity, that is the reason why you will not be a meat for the devil. And this third prayer is also the reason why you will not be a meat for the devil. You must cast out the spirit of carelessness. Are you ready? Say after me, you spirit of carelessness, you spirit of blindness, you spirit of foolishness. I break your yoke and cast you out of my life. Many people have, have become meat for the devil because of carelessness. Many people have become meat for the devil because of blindness. Their eyes couldn't see what they should see. Many people have become a meat for the devil because of foolishness. They foolishly walked into the hand of the devil. They foolishly walked into the hand of the enemy. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? But those three spirits must live your life today. Are you ready? Rise up on your feet. I want you to pray it like never before. What, this, this, this is one of the prayers I pray regularly. But information Once the enemy can gather information about you, is 60% through with you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Information. And many times, we foolishly give the information that the devil is looking for. We foolishly give that information to the devil. Did you get what I'm saying now? We foolishly give that information to the devil. The foolish... Tell your father, boy, you're lower than me. Boy, you're lower than me. Eh? Bow, look at my Every long go bow, listen, mama. Bow and wash your roof, oh, mama. Bow and wash your roof, oh, my, oh, my baby. Charles of where, madame, say, low, Danny. Eh? Show the pupils in my baby near. Checking soft on your bush, a libery. A check in taste to manage. Oh, can I lose away while madame a cushia last and last night? A cushia, cushia, a bolo, she told Nicobo la poy. He knew what he was asking for. So understand me. And it's been another verse of where I worry a burun a milk will lose a me a me a me a shasso for suffer was a jet suffer was a jet suffer was a jet. Did you get what I say now? A me only or no? A to my boy, no, 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 he came to get information. And he knew that he can provoke you to run your tap. Are you 
Somebody was just sending some terrible messages to me sometimes. Terrible, very provoking message. But at a point, mommy said, Daddy, I get him full less. I'm going to feel him. 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 Message <laughs> <laughs> but somehow, at a point, mommy said, "Wait, can run past the tire seat. Can run past the tire seat. If you want to see, if you want to have any issue of money, buy the tire. Fit tire, le. Oh, my dear. Somehow, eh, ah, well. Yo, 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 ma fi ku. But she ma keni ye. Hmm hmm. Me call on jebe. Are you hearing me now? Osa kwasu, osa saku zalo di Facebook. I block it. Have you talked? I, I remove it. Bam. Block. As you open, you give it to my boy message. You tell me I eat for that. Yeah, me my job and why? But to that, you know nothing. But we block. Can we now ask a quick kilo mean? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, to pull me out. You will no longer be foolish. I want to be told. You have to sorrow. You have to come. You have to come out. Why? See, I tell you, you have to pull your jet off. You see, you see. Eh, Simbi. Oh, no, boy, girl. What to fair you see? But you say you're off for any fatigue. But I want your day. Oh, go to the school. Oh, no, 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 one peck will shake me. A boma. Eh? My baby, dear Wally. But Oba was saying that you were more as in me. You must always know people that are looking for you. Don't show themselves to them. Show yourself to them. Don't let them have you. Is that okay? Lift up your hands. These, are, these things are connected to your personal safety. May you understand this prayer tonight. Say after me, you spirit of carelessness. You spirit of blindness. You spirit of foolishness. I break your yoke and cast you out of my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray, 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 pray. Those terrible spirits, they are living today. of my life. I cast you out of my life. I cast you out of my life. I break your yoke. I cast you out of my life. You spirit of carelessness. You spirit of blindness. You spirit of foolishness. I break your yoke. I cast you out. 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 Out of my life out of my life. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to pray for you tonight. You will no longer be careless. You will have a revelation of the urgency and the weight of things and issues. Every spirit of carelessness, I take authority over it. I break the yoke of carelessness off your life and I cast that spirit out of your life. What you are supposed to do today, you won't shift it to tomorrow. May you understand the urgency of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. No more carelessness. I take things for granted. I take authority over such spirit in your life. 
you will no longer be careless. You will be sober. Soberness is the opposite of carelessness. You will be sober. You will be vigilant. You will no longer be careless. Ah, people can lose their life because of carelessness. People have lost their life. People have lost properties because of carelessness. You will no longer be careless. In the name of Jesus. Carelessness is a spirit that opens the door for the devil. The devil can walk where people are not where people are not careless. Tell you about careless. He let Joe Molori out of carelessness. Or did he a Joe just because he's careless? But tell you, Tambella, to Tambella, so the table, to Kawe, but you are Bella. Ode sun lo, o sun, o sun, o for this Bella, o sun lo, o sun lo. Table igi. Table yen de jo 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 o jo kan. Abela yen jo 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 o jo kan tebu. O jo kan tebu ton pari e o moun ou rie. Do you know that carelessness will open the door for satanic attack? And some of us are careless. I want to pray that the Holy Ghost will call your attention to the area of your personal carelessness. I tell my people anytime we are at home, anytime we are at home, that one, you know, the door must always be locked. Whoever is coming from outside, we have the reason to do what? To knock. Did you hear that? Something as simple as that can get you into trouble if you are careless. Something as simple as that, the devil can capitalize on it and wreak a major havoc. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody knows okay, in, in your own house, you know, kitchen, man, one, oh man, that is a, that is a veranda for any kitchen of any house. Don't have lead to the other out, uh, side of the house. Yes or no? You are a lady, you are cooking in the kitchen and you are alone in the house. Oh, the, oh, oh, the Tilekun kitchen. Do you hear what I'm saying now? You took it for granted. Oh, Tilekun kitchen. Abi de la son. What if one stupid boy is coming and the devil is um, upon that boy and then he just opened that door and enter and you alone in the house and then lock the door and then what do you think can happen? Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Carelessness. Somebody say carelessness. 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 You forgot who the law. O ton pumping machine. O she 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 the, the switch. You remove the plug. Because there is still this uh, residual current that's there. We live in a country that the high voltage can come and cause a spark. And then many deaths are needless. It, it, it is just because of what? Carelessness. So when I'm praying against carelessness, I must understand until Monsonia Chale. And that may be a prayer for some of us. That may be a preventive prayer that will rescue you from the hand of death one of these days. I pray for you. Every one of us, sound of my voice, that is careless. Let the power of the Holy Ghost begin to drive out that spirit of carelessness out of your life. Apart from the fact that you'll be wasting gas, you're risking your life. O confessor, I bobbed, Lenok, because I bobbed, oh, fair warm, more bed, oh, the bill, oh, the rojala, oh, the five of a do, oh, lost church. Oh, be do, 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 if it is double, can you imagine? And let the hand of God come upon your life. Let the hand of God come upon your life. A young effect, a young effect, a break, or tattoo. Carelessness. 
I bring everyone under the sound of my voice, under the power and the grip of the spirit of carefulness, soberness, vigilance. In the name of Jesus, I run that spirit out of your life. The spirit of carelessness, the spirit of blindness. What you are supposed to see in the spirit, you will see it. Your eyes will be open. 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 The spirit of foolishness. I drive that spirit out of your life. Receive wisdom. Wisdom in talking. Wisdom in responding. You won't let out your secret to the hand of your enemy. May you come under a special restraint of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. You will not be foolish. 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 Rise up on your feet. I'm going to declare this one over you. Romans chapter 8. I'm reading verse 2. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin and death. I declare that word over you tonight. The law of the spirit of life will take over in your journey. As from today. The law of the spirit of life will take over in your journey. Will take over in your relationship. Now, I want you to lift up your right hand. Just your right hand. When I finish praying, when I finish praying, you will put those right hand, that right hand on your head. Is that okay? Is that okay? We are maintaining a contact in the spirit for a flow of the spirit of life. The spirit of life will take over your life. The law of the spirit of life is operational. The spirit of life. The spirit of life. The spirit of life. Your journey will come under the influence and the control of the spirit of life. As from today. Your involvement, your interactions, your relationship, your project, your family, your business. All of it come under the oppression of the spirit of life. Your body comes under the oppression of the spirit of life. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of life. The spirit of life. The spirit of life. life Will begin to supervise your experiences from now on. Every smell of death around you disappears now. Every smell of death Danger, evil, sickness, disease around you disappears now. The spirit of life will cover you like an envelope. Will cover you like a ship. The spirit of life. Emiye, emiye, emiye. The spirit of life will take over. Whatever has been dying in your body, they come back to life. Whatever has been dying in your business, in your family, around you, they come back to life. You and death have no meeting place. In the name of Jesus. Disappear. Disappear. You spirit of death, disappear. The spirit of life will take over. As you are going home today, life around you, life in your home, life in your body, life in your journey, life in your food, life in your water, no death around you at all. In the name of Jesus, put your hand upon your head. That's a contact. That's a contact. That's a contact. That's contact. Because the spirit of life takes over your body. It takes over your body. It takes over your body. 
But when you do Kurino Aguara, I better see ye by Hamadiye. Hamadiye. It will come back to life. 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 In the name of Jesus. Go Sikulo Jue. Go Sikula Ye. Go Sikuni Tosie. Go Sikuni Lee. Go Sikuni No Mitomo. Go Sikuni No Jatonje. Every agent of death, they run away from you. Agent of life will minister to you from now. Agent of life will begin to minister to you. They begin to minister to you. They begin to minister to you. A lore abore. A lore abore. A lore abore. Wasulayo wajilayo. Wasulayo wajilayo. In the name of Jesus. No danger, no evil occurring, no tragedy, no bad news. In the name of Jesus. Bobwe, a law boy, yellow jassy. You receive that? That is our function. In the name of Jesus.